Hi, my name is Dr. Shalini Kamodia, and I'm a dentist at Gentle Dental Care in Vestal, New York. Today I wanted to talk to you about silver fillings and how they're different than the tooth colored fillings or the white fillings that we do in our office. Uh, one of the questions I get frequently is do I need to have these silver fillings replaced? And the answer is it depends. Uh, a lot of times what happens over time with those silver fillings is they're metal and so they expand and contract a little bit every single time you put something hot or cold into your mouth and that acts kind of like ice in a sidewalk. Uh, the ice expands and contracts and then in the sidewalk we have all these cracks. The same thing happens to our teeth and over many years, usually around the 10 year mark, we start to see those cracks forming in teeth that have even the smallest of silver fillings. So generally what I recommend when I start noticing those cracks uh, before they get too big and before we start to get large fractures in the teeth, it's a good idea to remove the silver filling and put a tooth colored filling in there that will prevent those cracks from getting bigger. Sometimes those cracks are there and they're very large and we actually need to put a crown on top of that tooth to help hold it together. Otherwise the tooth is at risk of breaking and there could be irreversible damage to the tooth and it may need to be removed. So it really depends on the individual tooth. Sometimes uh, it's a really important thing to remove that filling and put a tooth colored filling in or put a crown on the tooth. Other times, if the silver filling is still intact, there's no decay there, and um, I don't see any cracks in the, in the tooth or around the filling yet, then we can wait until we start noticing changes in the tooth to replace that filling. Uh, if you have any questions about replacing silver fillings or have um, any comments about um, experiences you've had, please let us know in the comment section below.